Well, most of us have played with Legos at some point sure. in our lives or have children who do, but one man isn't just playing. As Jill Nicolini shows us, he's turning the tiny plastic bricks into works of art. The art of the brick has landed in New York City at Discovery Times Square. Renowned contemporary artist Nathan Sawaya is known for his artwork, all built with Legos, and this is his largest showing ever. The biggest sculpture here tonight is something that's really for the kids. There's a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton at the end of the exhibition that's the largest thing I've ever built out of Lego. It took an entire summer to build and uses over 80,000 Lego pieces. Since New York is his hometown, he has created several brand new, never been seen before pieces just for this exhibit. What I wanted to do was also reach out to kids and get them interested in art history, but through a medium they're familiar with, Lego bricks. So I've done some replicas some, of some very famous works of art. You'll see replicas of the Mona Lisa, of Rembrandt, even statues like Venus de Milo. And I've wanted to recreate them life size, but out of Lego. His most iconic piece is called yellow. That's because the color yellow draws the most attention from adults as well as children. It's all about the metamorphosis that he has been through on his journey. Some sculptures that are more than just what you'd expect out of Lego art. It's not cars and trucks. These are human forms, and there's a lot going on there. They have a little story to them. Some are going through some metamorphosis. I just found Nathan sitting next to a Lego man. What's going on here? Jill, I'm, I'm over here. Wait, wait, wait. Is this your thinking pose? This is my thinking pose. This is where I go to create all those ideas. Like the David. It took Nathan almost four weeks to complete this iconic sculpture, and he spent 12 hours a day gluing over 16,000 Legos together piece by piece. The exhibition opens tomorrow and will be on display until January 5th, 2014. In Times Square, I'm Jill Nicolini for Fox 5 News.